Jamie. And I'm Stefan. And we, and we are... are... We always had a dream to travel Australia. So we packed up our lives and began our adventure in our renovated caravan called Rocket. Be sure to tune in every week to see where our adventures take us next. We just made it to Port Lincoln National Park. We're on Sherflick Cove. Surfleet Cove. Surfleet Cove. There we are. Yeah, we're right there. You can see the good old caravan and courage sign. Bam. So we're not too far. But yeah, this is our, our closest beach. It's pretty nice. Pretty blue water. I like it. And we're going to be here for the next four days or so. Four nights. Four nights. So yeah, it's like five, six days, five days. Five. You know what I mean. But um, yeah, we've got a few hikes coming up and a bit of exploring to do. And we'll see you out in the out and about. Look at this. Little cutie pies. What are you doing on the road? Go on, run along. Bye bye. Thank you for being road safe ish. We made it to the top. I think we should like climb it, but there's no way I'll climb that. Pretty cool though. Made it. It was definitely not as much of a hike as I thought it would be. Because yeah, I guess we're getting kind of like desensitized by the flinders because it was just super steep. Like you can tell it's still pretty steep. Like we came from obviously the beach. Yeah, and it was yeah, it was a nice hike. But how long did it take us? Like 20 minutes? Felt like yeah, it. Minutes. Yeah. We haven't finished the loop yet. True, we haven't. But this is the steepest point. Yeah. It's not too shabby at all. Let's check out this little little viewpointy bit. Whee! Pretty. It's a very nice area, I'll tell you that much. Look at that nice view. Off my head. Naomi's hat. <laughs> so we're doing a 4.8k loop. Oh my god, so many flies. As soon as you stop. And um, yeah, we just came across this beach, and this beach, like we walked here from the actual campsite, instead of driven, and it's where we were before the hike this morning, just that little mountain thingy, so yeah. Look at this leathery mamma jamma. Emus! Oh, one, where's the other guy? So today we are on an 11k hike, 12 walk, oh, 12k's, 12k walk. I wouldn't say it's quite a hike because it's not too hilly. Yeah, 171 elevation. It's not too bad for that distance anyway. But yeah, it uh, should be good. And uh, we'll show the nice parts. Not sure if there's going to be too much spectacular stuff. I think it'll be mainly just sort of bush trekking. But um, it looks like there might be some good views, so I'll show you them. We are officially three kilometers in. Beach. Got to a beach. It's surprisingly windy this beach. It was like practically windless the whole way. Nice beach though, and it's called. I don't know where the name of the beach. You know what the name of this beach is? We're heading to September Beach. Over that away. So we're walking like beachside sort of like track most of the way. It's looking pretty good. So we're at number 18. So it's y Yoshi's. Yoshi's. I don't really know how to say that, but that's what it is. That's the beach. That's this one that we were just at. What are you looking at, Mr. Emu? Just on the trail. Yes, Naomi brought a change and she's dressed in a dress now. Because she knew it was going to get hot. This is the trail. It's just continuing along the rocks and stuff. It's really nice. Investigator trail. B-E-A. Beautiful. What is that over there? Is that something cool? Ocean girl. Chill on the rock. I've got about two and a half k's to September Beach. Two and a half k's to... Wait, I thought you said it was halfway. Beach. It's halfway, huh? Really? Yeah. Wow! Look at 
Look at this guy. What is he? What are your intentions? Don't eat us. It's like right on the trail. Amy's like, what trail? Oh, it's alright. It's okay, buddy. Just, you know, you're kind of on the trail a little bit. Some cute ass babies you got there, though. Uh, I don't know if we can really get around you. I mean, we probably can. We'll just do the emu and just walk around the bushes. It's tricky. I always got to choose my views. It's either the beach or that sexy girl. I think I'm usually looking at the girl. Got to get my eyes to the scenery. Ugh. Look at things that I don't see very often. Ah, oh, can't help it. It's just too goddamn sexy. This place has so many emus, it's not funny. Hopefully this one doesn't have kids and isn't super aggressive. I don't see any little ones. I think we're probably okay. Don't be angry at us. We're just strolling on by. The directly past you point. Oh, they do have babies. We're literally walking in between them. You can already hear it going, oh. Oh, he's so cute and cuddly. Oh. We'll wait, it's okay, Mr. Mr. Emu. Can't even see him. I'm sure he's not too far though. They're quite, uh, quite protective over their young. And that looks like a pretty painful looking beak. Yeah, I think we're probably fine. Where are them little cute babies gone? Can't even see them. Oh, there they are. That's so cute. Oh. Crazy thing is they're going to grow up to those huge emus. Look at that blue. It's so blue. Beautiful. It's doing a story. Gotta get them stories up. If anyone's curious, it is Donington Beach. This incredibly beautiful blue one. And there's the Donington Lighthouse. Donington Lighthouse. Just sitting over there pretty in the, in the distance. Beautiful beach. There's another one. I think this one's babyless. Because he's not all like, I think it might be a girl even. He's not all like up tall, looking angry. He's more like just looking for his food. Yeah, pretty nice beach this one. And there's another one of them. Emus are everywhere. Don't think this one has a kid either. It's way too chilled. Hey there little fella. Yeah. You can tell the difference though, on like, when they have kids or not. Almost looks like a teenage one. They're like, not worried about you or stressed or anything, but they're just like, don't want to be like super close. They kind of like, walk away gingerly, if you know what I mean. Pretty cool. Yeah, the rest of the path is along the beach, isn't it? Yay! Yay, beach walking. It's pretty nice. So what do you think, out of 10? How's this trail? I would probably give it an eight and a half. I think I might too. Like it's got really nice bits, and then some really long bits. Yeah, it's got a few rocky bits, and a few bushy bits, but yeah, most of it's pretty easy. The main thing you gotta look out for are those damn emus. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. I definitely recommend it. Like, if you oh, it highly recommend, for sure. Bring a picnic. Take your shoes off and walk along the water. I found out something pretty cool with the um, the DC to DC charger. 
So when I have my car, like I've got it running at the moment, just not on, just like, you know, using the power so we can listen to music and stuff. And they just try to download something. It's taking a little while and this is good, good reception and a beautiful view. So we just got it like, you know, just running in the background, open the roof, thought we'd just relax. And I can see how much power the car uses because the, the backup battery is fully charged. So as the, the car's battery like dips a little bit, it like puts more amps into it to like kind of catch it up from the solar. So it's, yeah, it looks like it uses about 10 amps just chilling just you know with the ignition on so i'm guessing it's probably keeping the glow plugs ready to go and all that but interesting so i thought i'd let you know beautiful view look at this yeah. so we're doing a, like a 6k round trip done about 3k so we're about halfway and um yeah it's mclaren beach or mclaren point it's pretty damn pretty it's very like untouched looking it's a full drive track to get here. We walked it because it was a really easy walk. Definitely could have driven it, but yeah, easy enough to walk it. And yeah, nice. Got to work out now which way we're gonna go. Yeah, we got to figure oh, out where yeah. we're going. We'll uh, see you in a bit when we know. This cool rock. Ooh. What were you doing, huh? You're looking for that. <laughs> what cool is this? The way the water kind of comes around and. Count. Yeah, we should probably start counting them. I don't know if I can count that high. Come on, Amy, show your face again. Hi, hey, buddy. <laughs> Running away. Mm -hmm. Made it to the point. Yeah, made it to the point. Just look at that sexy nay. She's been working out quite a lot lately. And it is showing. Look at this hilarious emu. <laughs> oh, they're so funny looking. Another emu. This one's got kids. Aww. So adorable. Look at him sussing us out. He's like, oh, I don't know. Alright, buddy, we don't want no trouble. Hey, Mr. Emu. So we have changed our plan and we're now rock hopping. Um, our choices were to either go back the way we came or go along the rocks and then sort of like cut through back to the path so we can see a bit of new stuff. And that's the plan, so rock hopping it is. There is so many peopleless beaches around here. Absolutely no one. There is quite a bit of seaweed at this one though. Like quite a bit. Mmm, squishy. Just found this creature's skeleton or skull. It's got a head fin on the beach. It's got huge eye holes. I wonder what it was. How interesting is that? Back to the ocean you go. Just found this like random box and roof, I'm guessing, so I can catch the water. Look at all these bees trying to trying to get a little bit of water. We need water. Yeah, it's not a lot. I don't know how full this thing is, but maybe I can help you. There you go. There's a couple of drops for you. This thing is full as. Yeah, it looks like they're happy. I'm gonna give it a couple more kicks and see if I can give them a bit more. Hey, it just runs out. That's good. Here you go, little fellas. There you go. Drink up. Found a tap, so I'm giving them one better. Now they can help themselves as they find it. What are you eating, huh? <laughs> a 
couple of homemade wraps. Oh no, what'd you lose? Bit of, bit, <laughs> bit of tuna. <laughs> some tuna and chicken. And some lettuce and stuff. It's good, good lunch. A oh, beautiful view. That's the life. Now he's gonna see how the water feels. He's probably gonna commit. Got a little, uh, little sun shelter out. It's one of those like easy pop out ones, hard to put away. How is it? You committing? Commitment made. All right, I'm gonna get out there. Look at this little bird. This is why these little muppets keep getting squished. Look how slow he is. There's a second one. The second one like jetted into the bushes. And this one's like, easy does it. Easy does it. Gah, so slow. Is this another one? Or is that one that got squished? No, that's totally another one. Oh no, I see flies around its head. Nah, it's, it's dead. It must have recently gotten hit. Poor little bastard. So we just got to Wana Lookout. I believe it's how it's pronounced. It's pretty nice. Very nice, very nice. I'll go right to the edge. Very cool. So we had to let the tires down a little bit. I probably shouldn't try, even try this soft sand with um, like absolutely max pump. Cause I usually pump it up like to the max for the caravan. So we let it down a little bit. Let's see how we go. So I feel like we're getting ourselves into more of a pickle because now I have to go uphill, soft sand at a zero start. But we let down the tires a bit more. We can still let them down a bit more, but rather than not have to pump them up heaps. So um, let's see how we go. Totally fine once I get a bit of speed. I just needed that needed that speed to actually get going. I'm glad I could reverse because yeah, that would that'd have been tricky if I couldn't. Now I get to see how flat I put my tires <laughs> and I have to pump them back up. Uh, it's just me being lazy. Now I, I feel like the tires are the way they are. We probably can make it up. Do you wanna? You wanna try? Oh, uh, we may as well. If we get to keep the speed up, we'll be fine. I might just check how pumped up the tires are and see how they. Hey, look. I'll have a look. They're gonna be all like terribly pumped. I can just tell. All right. Let's check them out. Oh, they're still they're still got quite a bit of squish. Oh, that one's that one's pretty good as far as like sand going. That one's very squish. That one could probably be let out more than I thought. Really? Yeah. The front is let out. Hey, oh, that's because I'm turning though. All right, you want to give it a crack? All right, yeah. we'll uh, we'll do a proper sand run now with actual. Let down tires. Yeah, I probably can still go a bit more on the back. Like that's not got that much. Yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll, uh, we'll see in the sand.
happy that I made it to the top of the hill. It's obviously uh, tricky for it. But um, I think we're gonna possibly go sandboarding on that hill over there, I reckon. Look at it, it's pretty damn steep. Should be fun. We'll see you on the sand. We're gonna do our best and not die. Let's see how we go. I might fall on my face. Yeah. You need me to push or? Really don't go very fast. I'm gonna try the steep part. A little disappointing, not gonna lie. It's so steep, holy shit. Super wide, they're like three times wider than this, maybe twice wide. But yeah, they go so much faster. Make me really appreciate my unicycle and motorbike. <laughs> I'm already like, yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna try one more time with the board. You went pretty well. And then I'm heading off. Yeah. <sighs> See you at the top. Heart of disappointment. It's killing me. The idea that I have to walk it down this hill. You it. Do you reckon it makes it faster? Yeah. Like, how does it go by itself? Yeah. Come on, you should at least go better by yourself. All right, let's give it a bit of a hoik. Nah, the steepness this is, that should be, should be better than that, I, I feel. As soon as the sign beats it, I'm never getting a sandboard. We should just... People pay how much for the pain on kangaroo arms, do you see? Too much. We need a... What, what do you reckon? Toboggans aren't quite as good as signs. I think signs... Signs are the way to go. You want the frill, yeah. Yeah. Like, I think it's it's because it's way wider than these. And I guess, um... I don't know, this, the, the plastic material just Stop slides. Yeah. Like this, I feel like... It almost feels like the brakes are on slowly, like... <laughs> maybe that's why people use, like, the surfboard grease, surfboard wax. We only had candle wax. And then I wiped it off and then it's still... That was pretty I don't much think nothing. Much of mine. No, I wiped yours off totally. But it seemed like it might have made a better difference having less or none. Anyway, now to a. Uh, hopefully the car's gonna be fine. I have a nice steady downhill, which is good because it's gonna get some momentum and I can keep it up. I've gotta go up the bigger hill first. Oh. Why didn't Stefan park down here? Oh, yeah, walk up. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> anyway, well, uh, I'll record a bit of the drive back, see if we get bogged. We should be alright. I might pump up the tires when we get to an actual road. Get that economy back up, you know how it is. 
Also, there's some big rocks and I don't want to like, you know, damage my rim. So uh, yeah, see you in the car. Let's see how we do. so hot <laughs> yeah it was a lot easier on the uh, the way down going uphill through soft sand I don't think the Touareg likes it so much which kind of makes sense yeah and I got fairly small tires and to be fair the first time the tires were their max PSI so um yeah let's, let's have some food I'm hungry some distance, figure out what you're doing with your life.